Hello guys and welcome to another log of Digimon content and for today's content it is something exciting something I've been looking forward to because it's another unboxing video finally version 3, 4 and 5 has arrived so obviously version 1 and version 2 I have done the unboxing before and I have even covered all the Digimon that are visible on these two versions and I've documented them in the log so you can check out on the playlist um, that I have there as well but what yeah so that's for version 1 and 2 right we managed to document and raise every single Digimon on those two devices but now we are moving on to version 3, 4 and 5 so I know in the earlier previous log for my Vital Bracer B I was saying that okay we just completed the Holy Wings B memory and the next one should be on the uh, jungle you know the forest base uh, dim but well at the time of recording this video I just received this and I think I just want to take a break from the Vital Bracelet B for a while and just um, try to play some of this uh, color version that just arrived so these are the three versions that have just been released you can only choose uh, these colors um, unlike version 1 and 2 version 1 and 2 they they came in two different colors so gray and brown right which were the featured colors on the cover as well white and black and I chose black for version 2 but for version 3 even though the original colors had purple and orange they only released the purple case and similarly for version 4 uh, the original had uh, clear red and clear blue but they only released clear red and for version 5 i think it was green and i think a transparent white and in there they only released green and uh, of course we know that subsequently the digital monsters um the old monochrome one they released a variation of different colors so uh, like case in point version 2 they eventually released a clear black one as well this is the original v-pad so i do have some these are my original VPAC collection from 1990 series. So it's quite interesting to have that comparison as well. But yeah, um, they might in the future, since we know that version 1 and 2, they released extra colors. So on top of that, gray, brown, and black and white for version 2, they released more colors, uh, uh, apparently selected through voting by the people so they actually put up a twitter vote i think they asked people to vote different colors and eventually there were additional colors i think there's clear white um and something else i can't remember uh so yeah they might eventually release extra colors of three four and five you know bandai is always looking for ways to earn more revenue so they might but they're not going to earn that from me i having one is just enough more than enough in fact at the time of recording this video when I just received this, they just announced the new Digimon Pendulum color. So, ah, I'm also quite torn because it's not cheap to buy those. But I'm a collector and I do have my collection of uh, Pendulum series as well. So, you know, it makes sense for me to, to complete that collection. This is a super old Nature Spirits and obviously the chain is missing. This condition is not great, but I do. And when I was playing with this back then now it would be awesome if I have a colored version of this and they have announced it so I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm considering but yeah let's let's do the unboxing anyway and um, funny thing before we continue the unboxing I mentioned that uh, the release of these um, devices uh, had usually two colors so this purple and orange but orange was not released but the funny thing is I have the orange from the original so it's kind of like a nice kind of a comparison and matching although the orange that I have is the clear orange so I think this is a slightly later release the original release was a solid orange and solid purple and then I think in in, in uh, because the demand was high they started to make more of these devices and they came out with other um, variations and uh, the clear orange is like a slight variation from the solid orange um, but yeah for version 4 which they release in clear red I have the clear blue so this is the original so it's quite funny that it just so happens that I have the the the, the, the counterpart color that is not released so that's great and uh, I, and I always wanted to own a clear red so honestly um, before I unbox 
the one that I've been looking forward to raising and just trying my hands on that raising that v-pad was this this is the one this is the one and for those who know this is also the digimon that was featured on the digimon world one playstation game you can see it on a mat you know and that's the iconic one that's uh lying on digimon's mat in in digimon's house if i'm not mistaken it always looks so cool and i think the design just looks great yeah clear it and i've been wanting to do that and well uh, well, I really want to raise version 4 first The logical side of me that's very um, structured and uh, procedural Tells me that I should follow the chronological order and I should start with version 3 So that's probably the first one and the next log you'll be looking at But the next log won't be coming so soon Okay, um, I will just space out my videos but anyway I'm going on a family trip soon so next video So. Any, anyway, just expect the upcoming videos to be, you know, slightly less regular because, you know, I am, I'm going on a family trip, so hope you bear with me. But yeah, some of this content will still keep coming and uh, just less frequently. So let's go with the unboxing. Um, yeah, this is the tedious part where we have to remove the tape. But yeah, check it out. You see, uh, they have the colored printing of Patamon as well. So that's nice. Just appreciate the packaging a little before we open it up fun fact it's so funny that um, if you look at all these illustrations um, it's it's interesting that um, version 1 version 2 version 3 version 4 all have featured champions so this Tyranomon, Garurumon, uh, Ogremon, Kuwagamon and then for version 5 you don't have any so there are some people that say that apparently version 5 is packaged this way because it was kind of a rush product because they had to um, yeah they were rushing for this lineup because they were also going to release the Digimon Pendulum color case in point just when we received this and then Pendulum uh, Digimon Pendulum color is out so it's kind of like mirroring what happened back then but yeah version 5 was a rush product apparently because they were focusing on Digimon Pendulum and um, but yet the version 5 still had to be released because apparently there was supposed to be some kind of linkage to the Godzilla franchise so apparently if you look carefully at the version 5 roster a lot of the uh, Digimon is um, actually looking very similar to a lot of your Godzilla characters like Dark Tyranomon looks a lot like Godzilla um, you have uh, Flymon that looks a lot like Mothra so <laughs> those are fun facts um, but yeah this is the packaging as well all right, and now this is the tedious part of uh, tearing off the tape, which I will do so gently. So this is the part of the video where I will have to fast forward and just, you know, it makes more sense. So anyway. Alright, alright, there we have it. We finally took off all the tape. <laughs> yeah, that was that took really long, but yay, we can finally have fun unboxing and starting up some of these devices. Starting with version 3, let's go. This is the wire that comes with it, but you just need one of them. Uh, you don't need to use all, so I'm just gonna have one of these be used and yay let's boot it up if i recall correctly i think you have to press one of the buttons to start it up i can't recall which button we probably have a manual but you have to refer to the manual to look it up uh probably have to let me just give it a shot if i remember correctly it's just pressing one of the buttons to start it wait hang on <laughs> I can't remember uh, how to start this up. Give me one second while I figure this out. Is it pressing two buttons? Let me put this down. 
But yeah, it's been a while. In fact, I'm thinking of having to revisit some of my older videos as well. The ones on... Uh, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's pressing C. There we go, version 3 looking great. Yeah, I need to revisit some of my older videos where I covered some of the advanced tips and tricks like uh, how to get treated egg, how to speed up the process of your Digimon reincarnating, um, how to engineer your care mistakes, engineer the training to keep training in count and check and all that. But yeah, let's start this out. Oh, this is loud. This is very loud. It's gonna be really loud here. So, is that a way to turn off the sound? There we go. That's the first hatching we have here. Amazing. Amazing. Look at it. It's Pokemon. How do I change the sound? I can't recall this. There we go. Pressing C. Holding C. And where is the sound button? This is the background. Ah, this is a dirty lab. This is brightness. I need sound. Yeah, softer. Mute. I think softer is fine. I don't mind having my V-pad. Having a softer sound. In fact, I plan to probably document um, with sound. I think that would be interesting. Yay. So that's that first hatching. First hatching of version 3, yay! Oh, that's the training. Yay, it looks fun. Alright. And that's Boyomon, that's version 3. Alright, maybe I'll just turn the sound off. A shortcut, just press A and C, and that will turn off the sound. And yeah, Boyomon will be put to sleep because I'm going on my family trip and I can't afford to carry this around during the trip. So, I'll be switching these off. But later, let's get, let's boot up version 4 as well. Let's do that. Oh dear, I almost dropped it. Oh my goodness. That would have been terrible. And the clear case would have been damaged. Alas, it was safe. Okay, here we go. Uh, the packaging is a little stuck. Let's see if I can close it back. Ta-da! This is version 4! Oh, looks amazing! I really like the clear red case. So tempted to just use this. But nope, I'm going in chronological order. So yeah, this, this guy. I'll play it after I'm done with version 3. Starting him up as well. Let's go! Wow! Once again, very loud. Very loud. Oh, oh, the color egg is so nice. Oh, look at it. I didn't expect it to be blue. I thought it was white and pink. If I recall correctly, it was supposed to be white and pink. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be. Okay, anyway. I should adjust the sound. For see the brightness. Too bright. Yeah, brightness setting one seems to be the best to do any documentation of this. Yeah, or maybe brightness too. Yeah, so can't see, can't see the carry of that wavy wavy uh, effect. I think it's the frequency, the frames per second. Oh, brightness max seems to be working well, so I guess that's the one we're going for. Or maybe brightness four. Okay. Anyway, we'll figure that out when we get to the documentation part of it. Switching sound to softer, that will be better. Okay, uh, yeah, that's Boyomon. Let's see Boyomon eating. Ooh, cute. Let's see. Hundred percent. I remember playing this. Ooh, yay. Oh, there was no sound. Let me just switch it on. Oh, it looks so good. Nice. Okay, and that's Boyomon. That's Boyomon for you. You can barely see his eyes. But kind of like how the artwork is like anyway for Boyomon. 
and not not Poemon. This is not Poemon. Ah, oh, I can't remember his name. Uh, we'll look it up when we are doing the log for this little guy. Anyway, that's version four. Oh, it looks so good. It feels so good. It feels so good to hold. Ah, uh, anyway, here's a poop. You pooped. Why do you poop, man? I think actually the default brightness is probably better. Let me just switch it back. Oh, he pooped. All right, let's get down to version five. Let me just wash his poop. And the poop is brown. Yay, it's brown, it's not black. It's a brown poop. I think they improved it. I remember that it was black in version one and two. And people were like complaining like, hey, why is the poop black? You know, it doesn't look very healthy. It doesn't look like healthy poop. And then they probably adjusted the sprite color to be brown. So it's brown poop now. It's not black poop, like version one and two. And here we have a um, nice version 5. I think the color is amazing. I never had this color before. Even among my friends who had version 5s, they were usually in this color or they had that clear white version. I think that was quite common in Southeast Asia releases of version 5. But this was never seen. And now we have it clear green color. I think it looks great. The buttons are white. I think that's gonna be problematic. You'll probably gray or like get into a dirty yellow eventually. But as with all things that age, that is the reality, right? You have to live with it. So anyway, let's boot this up. Oh, I didn't expect the color of this egg to be like purple with purple streaks. Honestly, couldn't envision it. Of course it was black and white. And there we have Zarumon, I think Zurumon or Zarumon. Anyway, I'll get, I'll get the name right when we are doing a log. Uh, this brightness looks good. Oh, the button feels a little different from the version 4. I have no idea why. Um, this feels a little softer. Softer. And brown poop once again. This feels a little softer. And the version 5 feels a little harder. Is it the color, the quality of the button? Um, because of the color, it feels a bit different. Yeah, this feels softer as well. Did they, did they decide to do it differently for version 5? Anyway, this feels a little harder to press. But it's okay. I like it anyway. And that's Zarumon. Let's feed him a piece of meat. By the way, this is not the log for these respective Digimons. I'm going to do a proper log for the baby. Baby anyway. Uh, baby versions anyway. Oh, there's a tree! I remember blasting that tree so often when I was playing my version 5. Alright, and that's it guys. That's it for today's unboxing. We have version 3. I see, I'm so excited I didn't even put back the cover. But anyway, I do have to put them back in the box. But that's it for the unboxing. I'm not going to play them now. As mentioned, going on a family trip. I'm not going to do that. I'll do that after the trip. I'm so excited. Alright, that's the way to switch it off by the way. We'll put this back in the box. We'll boot it up when we get to it. We'll boot up version 3 first. But for now, that's, they're all going back in the box. And that's it for today's unboxing video. Strange that the unboxing video ends with putting them back in the box. But yeah, that's it. And I hope you enjoy the upcoming series. And sadly, yeah, they will be slightly less regular, um, a little slower in the releases but i hope you're okay with that and um also the nature of the logs coming slow is also because the evolution times aren't as rapid as the vital bracelet be so vital bracelet their evolutions are like every day every day they are evolving um the Digimon color they evolve maybe from rookie to champion will be fast but after champion to ultimate and ultimate to mega, they can take about one or even two days. So, yeah. So, it will be a bit slower because of that as well. So, I'm going to shut the version 3 off. And I'm going to boot it up again when I can start raising. And I'll be starting with this one, version 3. Even though this is the one that I've been looking forward to. Anyway. Thank you for watching and if you haven't already, please go ahead and slice the like and subscribe button with Omega Mons Omega Blade.
and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye! -bye.